Welcome to my life in short. Basically showing you a few pictures about me and what I've done. That's just me sitting down in the living room. The dogs. The small one's mine. Buddy's name is. Me, I found my auntie on the train. And again. Yeah, this is pretty boring. I thought this was going to be a bit more exciting. That's my dog again, Buddy. Labrador. The two dogs playing. Both are mine. Goodness knows when that was took. A long time ago. Oh, it must have been about New Year. I put Sean's house, my friend. Uh, pizza. Yeah, look at the mouth here. Very painful. Basically, what happened to my mouth was I had a, a piece of paper in it, and it was in the shape of a cigar, and I was pretending it was a cigar. At the engagement party, which you can see here, and that guy in the white top, Tony, his name is, pushed the paper into my mouth and basically cut open the back of my mouth really badly. Very painful, and it took a good three or four days to heal. And for the itching to go away was about a week or two. Next up in line we've got Sandy. Now. Who is one of my friends from Glasgow. There he is again. And me and him play a card game. Sometimes. You go. Other times. I just don't have the time for it anymore, studying at university. There's me on the train. Actually, me and Right Track, which is a, a place where youngsters go to get a job. Unhappy times. There's my university. First year civil engineering. That was one of the best pupils in our year. He was 35. One of my ticket examiner friends for the train. And my little brother. Yep. A cool hairdo here. Yeah, that was at the train station. Picture of my dandruff. Next, the best toilet I've seen in my life. Vintage. One of the ones that I found in the church at my university. Yeah, that's right, one of my classes are in a church. This is actually a hill we're looking at now. And there as well tilt to the side and we tried to claim it by the experience. Me looking my usual. I think this is a corridor in my university. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, it probably was. And that was me after taking that pick. This is a fun one. Me on the train, faffing about we are. Uh, I don't really know what they are. And there's your photo man right there. He took the snaps of me. Funny as fuck. Say so cheesed off. Yeah, that was my reaction. My dad took me down to some place in Scotland. Can't remember. Not Airdrie anyway. And my dad again. And me. And my dad's car. That's my step bro James. Walking back for the train station maybe. And my little brother and me. Um yeah, that's James showing off touching high heights. Me with my hair. When it was medium length. It's now long of course. Picture of a spot in my back and just a random pick I guess. This was a very uncomfy and pee proof mattress from my holiday. There's my hair on a pony when it was short ish. Yeah, it didn't work out too well. The most outstanding feature on me. Me with a really small cap on. And it's Christmas time at a 
a year ago. And there's the cap in full glory. Got a bit of acne, as you can see there. Yeah, my teeth are a bit spaced, shall we say. The big spot, which annoyed me. And that was my reaction to looking at that picture. The sun is warm on the train today, and I'm enjoying myself. Very much so. And not so much now, because it became too bright. Just another pick of me in the train. I've got a lot of free time. I've spent two hours travelling to and from university each day, so a lot of the pictures are probably held on the train. Me and my hair was still quite short, but long enough to get some of it in a ponytail. World of Warcraft that I don't play anymore. Might get back into it. David, my cousin, and James step bro me with a strange look in my face yep like I said long times going to uni there's the Christmas shopping guys and there's me going to train going on the train to my uni at winter this is a construction site I was on first year civil engineering that was me taking a pick and there I am. Also took that pick myself. Old train in the new train station. The one on the top. Strange, eh? Me and my cousin at the pub. Me and my both my cousins at the pub. Have a good time, couple of drinks. Wow. This piece is solid cheese. That's how far I got before I was too sick to eat anymore. Extreme close up. There you are. <coughs> oh. Yeah, cheese is good, but in that quantity, it's not so good. That's my bed. Nice and dark as I like it. Me and my dad waiting somewhere. Can't remember. There we are. Happy as Larry's. The guy up the top there built. A man out of a towel. How clever. There I am on the train. Oh, here's one I've not seen. Me on the train. Wow. Nice. The janitor. My hair. What it used to look like. Take the pony out. Bam. And that was about the length of it. Extreme close up on the nasal passage. Scarf made to look like a penis. Paper made to look like spunk. Jacket made to look like a jacket. Ponytail. Me and Sandy up at Largs. Sandy at Largs in the park. Sandy on the other side of the seesaw. Who will weigh more? Me, obviously. Another one on the train. And that was a black and white image at the start. But now in colour. Especially for you people. Danny for my dad's bit. Severe alcoholic. And my dad. Severe alcoholic. Me. Moderate alcoholic. But not really. Me and my mum. Somewhere. I don't really know why I can't recall most of these places. I mean, I was the one who took most of the damn pictures. Uh, how things exit my mind. That's my mole on the side of my neck. Sometimes it becomes very painful. Sandy and the Transformer card board cut out. Oh, this was probably one of the worst states I got in my life. I'll put my pal for uni Coco's bit. Severe drinking all night and a couple of other activities. I mean, these guys I don't even know. I, I know their faces, but who are they? Obviously, just some young party goers. Bridge I built out of paper at uni and the pub that we went to in uni. Yeah, the student union it's called. 
UK pub. Me at the pub. That's my get it on look. Let's find some date. Oh, here. Mm, quite an interesting style. I like that one, but I would never probably go outside looking like that. This guy likes to suck his middle finger on the train. Danny, one of the oldest people I know, one of the oldest looking people I know, sorry. His actual age is about only 60, but boy does the alcohol make him age. My little bro, me and my little bro pulling some phases. My one's obviously better there. Uh, maybe my little brother's better on that one. Yeah, I'm, mm, it's about the same. James, my step bro, dug out a big stone through the ground. Me, walking somewhere. A nice picture, don't know where I took it. I'll remember one day. Me and my mum. At the countryside, maybe. My little bro wearing my cap, or my old cap. Now there's a hairstyle I won't use. But my mum done it for a laugh, and it wasn't very funny. My dog, very cute. There he is. He falls asleep sometimes with his tongue hanging out. And sometimes he just falls asleep in these kind of position. Very cute. I would agree. And there he is with glasses on. What a good dog. Me and my mum. Well, my mum, my wee brother and my wee sister at England. I can't remember the name. Cats at the train station. Belgrove train station to be exact. And what were they doing there? Almost getting killed was the answer. Daredevils. Maybe the locals. I don't know. They weren't there obviously when the train came. Thank goodness. That's my little cousin. Second cousin actually. The official name. First cousin. That's new me her name is. Mark, he was going to try something a bit new, the quadruple hamburger for the chip van. The women are asking, oh how do I price that in? Just put it on his two doubles. Right, no bother, there you go, wham, four. How does he finish it, you ask? We're about to find out. Mammoth meal right here. There's the aftermath. Hmm, yeah. Don't get four burgers. Bad cut on the hand. My dad. Posing. Uh, obviously took a lot out of him. And. Me and Danny at the pub. We were there to our closing time. And then we went to another pub. Okay, thanks very much for watching guys, that's all I've got time for this time and I will leave you with a little number on the guitar.